And good morning, fourth graders, uh, third graders again. We're going to be working on our problem set. Um, oh, easy, easy, Josh. There we go. So we're working on our problem set today. I'm going to zoom in a little tighter. There we go. And um, there's our problem set. Let's dig right in. We've been talking about dividing and using tape diagrams and all that good stuff. Arrays. Now we've got some pictures to work with. So, you're going to take this home to help you with your homework. So after we're done, we'll put it in our binders. So we're going to see this. There are eight birds at the pet store, right? Two birds are in each cage. I'm going to circle two. Circle to show how many cages there are. Well, if there's two in each cage, let's circle them two at a time. One cage, two cage, three cage, four cage. So eight divided by two equals what? Well, there are four cages of birds, so 8 divided by 2 must be 4. And I know that 4 times 2 is 8. Let's continue on. The pet store sells 10 fish. That's something we know. They equally divide the fish into 5 bowls. Draw fish to find the number in each bowl. Well, I'm not going to sit around and try to draw a tiny little fish in there. Maybe I can. No, I'm not going to. It's just too much. Um, we'll make little oblong shapes to just show the fish. So here we know that there's 10 fish, 5 bowls, and our question mark is how many fish are in each bowl? So let's go ahead and start dividing the fish up. I guess I could draw a little fish. There we go. One fish, two fish, three fish, four fish, five fish, six fish, seven fish, eight fish, nine fish, and 10 fish. So there's our 10 fish in five bowls. So it looks like we have... Ah! 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 Oh no, here comes the counting crow again. He wants to count the fish. Counting crow, you can count the fish, but don't eat the fish, okay? Ah! So how many are in each bowl? Ah! That's one. Ah! That's two. Thank you, counting crow. Great job there. I'm glad it wasn't counting to 100. So, we can see that 5 times what equals 10? 5 times 2. Likewise, 10 divided by 5 equals how many fish are in each bowl? 2. So there are 2 fish in each bowl. Okay. Ooh. It's a matching game. With the rabbits and the carrots. So we have to think about this. 10 divided by 2. What would that equal? Well, we just kind of did a problem similar to that. Not quite. But uh, think about 10 divided by 2. 2 times what is 10? Is it 8? Is it 5? Is it 9? Is it 8? Is it another 8? 6 or 7? Well, we know that 2 times 5 is 10, so we're going to match those guys. What about 16 divided by 2? 2 times what number equals 16? Well, let's count it out, kids. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12... 14, 16. By golly, it looks like it's an 8. So we're going to match this guy with the 8 carat. 18 divided by 2. Hmm. We just did 16 divided by 2. What would 18 divided by 2? Let's count it out again. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18. How many tally marks do I got? I got 9. So 18 divided by 2 must be 9. 14 divided by 2. You could try to do that one on your own. If you get stuck, wait around with me. We'll get to it. We're trying to get, it's either going to be 6 or 7. Think about what number 6 or 7 times 2 equals 14. 1, 7, 2 7s, 5, 10, 12. Oh, it would be 7. 7 times 2 is 14. That leaves us with 2 times 12 is 6, so 12 divided by 2 is 6. Let's turn the paper over on our problem set. Lena buys 14 meters of ribbon. That's nice. We're going to circle 14. She cuts her ribbons into two equal pieces. Huh. How many meters long in each piece? We're going to label the tape diagram to represent the problem, including the unknown. Okay, here's the ribbon, and we know it was 14 meters of ribbon. So I'm going to put 14 M, that stands for meters, of ribbon. Okay, 
we know that she also cut it into what? Two equal parts. What don't we know? We don't know how long the parts are. That is a mystery. So we've labeled the tape diagram. We gotta figure out that each piece is what? So our equation, our sentence is 14 divided by two. What does that equal? And we'll do a multiplication sentence underneath the 14, the division sentence. We'll do a number times two equals 14. Okay, so let's think about this. Hmm, we kind of did it with the rabbit back there. We could skip count. Two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14. There's the 14. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven twos. So 14 divided by two must be seven, and seven times two is 14. So we can say each piece is how long? It's seven. 14 divided by two is seven, so each piece is seven long seven meters long. That's a lot of ribbon. Okay, Roy eats two cereal bars every morning. I'm gonna circle the two. Each box has a total of 12 bars. He eats two a day. How many days will it take Roy to finish one box? Well, let's see, 12 is in one box. So, and he eats two a day. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12. Hmm, let's go ahead and finish this tape diagram. Each one of these stands for a day. Day one, two, three, four, five, six. I think it will take him six days, right? Because 12 divided by six equals two, and two times six equals 12. So we could say Roy will finish the box in six days, period. You can always pause this to catch up. Let's continue on. And it says, Sarah and Esther equally share the total cost of a present. I'm gonna circle that word equally. The present cost $18. How much did Sarah pay? Well, let's just kind of do it like this. They, they, they wanna know how much they both spent. Let's have some fun here. And let's make $18. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. Let's count those again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. There's our $18. That's what we know. We know $18 was spent. And I'm gonna even bracket this and put $18. We know it was split two ways. Between Sarah and Esther. But what we don't know is how much each of them spent. That's the mystery. So let's do Sarah, uh, let's go rotate back and forth with Sarah and Esther. Sarah, $1. Esther, $1. And let's just keep doing this. Sarah, Esther, Sarah. Esther, Sarah, Esther. Sarah, Esther, Sarah, Esther. Sarah, Esther, Sarah, Esther, Sarah, Esther. So we're trying to find out how much Sarah paid. One dollar, two, three, four, five dollars, six dollars, seven dollars, eight dollars, nine dollars. It looks like Esther spent nine dollars also. So we're gonna say Sarah spent nine dollars on the present. And don't forget to put a period. We start with a capital, of course, and its proper name. But let's do the math sentences here. We had $18 divided by two, and that equaled what? Well, remember, she spent $9, so it's nine. But what would two times nine equal? Well, there's our sentence right up there. It would equal 18. Ladies and gentlemen, that's our problem set. Would you please log on to Zern until we get to our um, exit ticket? Thank you.